begin to worship his holy name. He is a great and powerful God and is all that can be compared unto him. Begin to appreciate him, begin to appreciate him, begin to bless him, begin to bless him. He is faithful, faithful beyond description. He is faithful, faithful beyond description. Begin to appreciate him tonight, appreciate him tonight. Father, we bless you. We glorify you for whom you are. You are good and gracious and you are mercies and just forever. Father, you are faithful, faithful beyond description. That is why everything calls you a faithful father. Father, we Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, my God. Thank you, thank you for whom you are. In the name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome to our prayers tonight. Testimonies have been coming in since the beginning of our 40 days fasting and prayers. And I encourage you, persevere. Persevere. Our God is able to handle any situation. There is no situation that is beyond His ability or capability. Praise the Lord. So the prayer continues tonight. We we'll just want to read some some scriptures and then we will pray tonight. Matthew chapter ten, verse number one and number eight. Matthew chapter ten and verse number one and number eight. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Jesus gave them power to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Verse number 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Jesus gave the power, he gave us that power to heal all manner of sicknesses, all manner of diseases. Psalms chapter 107 and verse number 20. Psalm 107 and verse number 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. God sent his word. He healed them and delivered them from all of their destructions. Isaiah chapter 53, verse number 4 to 6. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our souls, yet we did esteem his stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Jesus bore our griefs. He carried our souls. James chapter 5 and verse number 15. He's asking us to pray. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he had committed sins, they shall be forgiven. First Peter chapter 2 and verse number 24. On the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. It's not by his stripes you are going to be healed. You are already healed. Praise the Lord. All of the scriptures we have read today is talking about him, what Jesus has done, and the power he gave to us to effect that him. So it's important. That's why we'll be praying tonight. Basically on healing. Healing can take place in different spheres, different areas of our lives. Most times when we talk of healing, people just look at physical ailment. No, you can be healed physically, yes, or physical ailment. You can be healed emotionally. You can also be healed spiritually. You can be healed economically. So healing, you can be healed in your relationships. So healing in every facet of our lives will be praying tonight. Healing in the process of restoring the broken harmony 
which prevents functionality. Healing is the process of restoring the broken hammer which prevents functionality. Anything that is against your peace, against your ease, is the disease. And we're here tonight to pray. Wherever you're hearing me tonight, wherever you're joining me tonight, we'll be praying for healing. Healing of our bodies, healing of our finances, healing of our relationships, healing of our businesses, healing in every sphere of life that we will expect God to intervene. And that is also because God is the healer. He is called and addressed Jehovah Rapha. Rapha, Jehovah Rapha by interpretation means, or Rapha means, you know, to heal, to restore, to repair, even to replace. Are you sick in your physical body? God has the spare part for every part of the body. He has the spare part for every other. There is nothing that is lacking. So God is the greatest physician. So we shall be praying to the greatest physician using the authority that Jesus gave to us. He said, go heal the sick. So we shall be declaring healing tonight. Join me tonight. And begin to appreciate God, begin to lift up your voice, yes, and raise Jesus, your voice to light and appreciate Him. Bless His holy name, He says, Wonderful God, God is powerful. He is the God that healed us. He God that healed us. He is God that healed us. Begin to appreciate Him tonight, begin to bless His holy name. Father, we thank you tonight, we bless you, our Father. Be great healer, be great healer, be great healer, be great healer. Father, we come to you tonight. We come by the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. Lord, I lift up everyone under the sound of my voice. Even those that are joining me live in this prayer tonight. Even those that will join after that. Even those who hold on to the mighty Lord that shall watch this, this video tonight or there. Father, Lord, we release the power of healing on those environments in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, wherever you are here, tonight. 
somebody now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A lot of times we saw in the scriptures, even when Jesus will be healing some sicknesses and diseases, he made it known to us that these will be accosted by certain spirits. So we understand the genesis of all of those. Raise your voice and begin to declare tonight every arrow of sickness, every arrow of sickness projected in my direction, projected in my direction return to your center. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we stand tonight and we declare, O God, Lord, you said, O my dear mother, said, Father, that he that bringeth the pit will fall into it. Father, Lord, he that bringeth the pit, the serpent will bite. We therefore stand tonight upon the authority in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we declare tonight, Lord, no great Jehovah. It's affecting every business 
businesses are being affected because the economy is sick. Open your mouth, or raise your voice tonight, and begin to decree healing upon your business in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you said you will bless the works of our hand. You said you will bless the works of our hand. Father, God will start tonight by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we lift up our businesses, everyone that is sound of my voice tonight. Lord, we lift up their businesses, we lift up their careers. Unto you, our Father and our God, and we command him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their businesses be him. Let their careers be him.
and God is doing great things in our lives already. Again, I say God bless you. We are going to continue our prayers. So keep joining us and I assure you every expectation of yours will be answered in the name of Jesus. So we come your way again. Remain blessed, remain lifted, and remain victorious. Shalom and have a wonderful night. God bless you.